Um, is, there, is there a thing, you guys will probably know this, when, when you go abroad, do our Irish people kind of get treated differently, better ab abroad, I wow. think? Is that there's a thing? No doubt about it, right? Well, I mean, yeah, there's, I suppose it's a bit different, yeah. Yeah? I, I don't know what it is, but... Um, there's, 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 I suppose there's, you there's a weird out. thing, isn't there, Jonathan? Well, I think it's definitely the men get treated with contempt by the Irish women here, right? When Irish men are here. Like, how many women in this room have told an Irish man to feck off <laughs> for, for saying hello, right? And my wife told me that it's not that they say hello, they go, hey, hey, you. <laughs> headband, headband. I, and they'll be like, I'm talking to my friends. And he'll be like, no, you're talking to me. And then you go abroad and you meet these lads and they're like, Jar, I couldn't get a girlfriend in Mullingar at all. And now I'm, you know, exotic and you know, he's, a, he's a mystery. And it is, like a lot of it is the accent. And Patrick, you know all about that. The accent can do crazy things. I, I do notice though that you're, <laughs> you have slowed your accent down an awful lot. I right? have. Yeah, and I can only think that that's from people going, Patrick, I didn't catch a word of that. Can you slow it down completely? Is that, is that what's happening? I mean, that's what happens at home, yes. <laughs> Yes, that's, the, that's very much what happens at home. I mean, it's also, look, I know, Sonia, you know this, the thing you miss the most is the crack. Like, the crack is very hard to find abroad. It's certainly something that fascinates them. Uh, like, you'll be on a night out in London, you're already dialing it back a few notches, and then towards the end of the night, somebody will elbow you and go, we're having the crack now, aren't we? <laughs> and... Uh, <laughs> and, and yeah. And, you know, you've got to turn to them and go, not anymore, right? <laughs> uh, that, that's it. Uh, Sonia, I want to talk a bit about Fittest Family because I, I feel you're very positive when the camera is on. Um, do you tell them the truth when the camera is off? <laughs> <laughs> it depends on the situation, but uh, I think I try and see like, positive in everything, you know. In, you know, everybody's out there trying their best. So and... you would never say, get up over that hay bale, you bollocks. <laughs> I'm probably saying it all under my breath, you know. And there was a, someone told me I said some words I shouldn't have been saying on there last week, but I didn't know. But I said I, I probably did because I say that a lot anyway. <laughs> you get um, is this man a uh, is this man an example of, of anybody being coachable? Um, yeah, Slightly I mean he's. <laughs> <laughs> I love that you find out, and everyone's going, "Is it though? Is really? It though? Yeah." Well, the thing is, sometimes. I suppose when I'm telling people to do, when you're coaching somebody and you know something really well, you assume they know it well too. Yeah. And then, so then you have to be reminded every now and then that, no, I don't really know what you're talking mm -hmm. about. And so Gerard is, um, you see, sometimes when you're coaching people then they like to impress you as well. <laughs> so I was always telling him, you know, you got to run this far at this pace. And then he'd come back and he'd say, I ran it much faster. And I'm like, <laughs> no, no, but you were supposed to run it this pace. <laughs> yeah. I don't want you to run any faster. You can do that in the race, but not in training. And um, so things like that, you know, he's very enthusiastic. He's enthusiastic. Yeah. Oh, very enthusiastic. Well, the hardest thing, Patrick, was that for the first six months of being coached by Sonia, and the reason why I was doing it and trying to impress her is it's Sonia O'Sullivan. You will go running if Sonia O'Sullivan is checking that you went running, right? <laughs> and, like, honestly, I, I, was, I was trying my best. Six months, she, <laughs> she knows this, goes, I was convinced I was injured all through the six months. I'd come back and be like, Simon, my, my ankle's hurt, my knee, my back, my hip, what's this? And eventually, after six months, she got into my head, that's just what it feels like to run. Yes, right. that's just pain. That it, this was Get just a foreign it, concept for my body. <clears throat> uh, but like, oh, all that's behind me. Like, it's, like, we joke about it and all, but like, I did go from running like a 38 minute 5K to a 19 minute fight, 1955 K. And that is because That's of her. That's the most impressive and, thing, yeah. And, and apparently, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs>